I grew up as a musician in a very musical family. And music is always a way for me to connect with other people. Mm -hmm. As I studied music therapy and then eventually taught music therapy, I looked at working in nursing homes and hospitals and schools and then saw around the world how people were using music in different ways for health and healing. Working for Musicians for World Harmony was really about looking at communities that really could benefit from the healing powers of music. So my journey continues because I am so excited and there's so much to learn about different styles of music, different cultures, how people around the world are using music to come together as a community to really help one another. 2007, I traveled with eight Berkeley students to Kenya um, to work with Musicians for World Harmony in bringing music to children who were homeless and street children. Ever since that time, um, I've been in contact with Samate Mulando, who's the executive director of Musicians for World Harmony. And he's been someone who's wanted to blend music therapy and performance together to see how the two can really elevate the human spirit and how music can be used with communities around the world, specifically in Africa, to really bring a sense of healing and health. And that was sort of the beginning of my journey in looking at how to bring the concept of therapy into Africa where music is just everywhere. Everybody's a singer, everybody's a dancer, everybody is a musician. Professor Karin Wax, who is our Director of Education and Mental Health Programs, and myself, conduct these weekly workshops that have grown to include dozens of people from the Lyra community, students from Berklee College of Music, and musicians from the U.S. In February of 2013, Samate invited me to go to northern Uganda to travel with him to Lyra to work with an organization that works with rehabilitation of ex-child soldiers. And music was a way to bring them back to dealing with their traumas, to look at how to connect with each other, how to bring some level of joy and communication. How to use mindful meditation techniques on how to really get to a place of of calm and stress and uh, looking at the relaxation response as well as looking at how music can uh, music combined with meditation can bring people to a sense of calm and ease in a chaotic situation. When I see people expressing and creating, you see people at their best, whether they're an individual with Alzheimer's or a child with special needs or an ex-child soldier who has been through horrible atrocities. Music has a way of really empowering people to be in touch with who they are as people. For me, this work is really about taking what we're learning and teaching here in the traditional music therapy methods and expanding it beyond the traditional bounds. Working from a place of inspiration that's when you can do your best work. That when you're inspired, um, you can help other people. And that's what happened for me in Africa. Music is the hope that brings people together. Thank you.